Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. Unveil why we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope, like wildfire in our very souls. Holy Spirit, come invade us now. We are your church. We need your power in us. Hey, Flow Nation, how are you? Uh, this is Pastor Phil, online school pastor. Uh, just wanted to let you know a little bit about myself so that uh, we can have a better relationship. You know, you want to make sure that you know the person who's bringing teachings and speaking a word into your life. Because when someone speaks a word into your life, you know that that's influence. You know, they can influence you positively they can influence you negatively so what uh, what my aim is to uh, empower you and to um, help uh, bring revelation into areas that 17 years of ministry have taught me so throughout the, the years of experience um, I want to really show people how they can live a successful lifestyle in the power and the presence of God. You know, Jesus loves us. He loves me so much. And it took me a little bit of time to understand that. But uh, my hopes are that you shave off years and years of experience and bring an experience level advanced uh, by what um, I've experienced, what I, uh, what I know to be true. So, that's my hope. That's my. That's my. That's what I feel God uh, is leading me to do with this ministry, this online ministry. I can reach um, thousands and thousands and scores and scores of people. And rather than to uh, have a church building and pour millions and millions of dollars into the electricity bill and the building maintenance and the, uh, the beautification of the building, I want it to uh, just. Uh, you know, bring it through the internet because it's really the wave of the future. Um, so here I am today, you know, I felt like God has been telling me for a very long time to start this ministry. And, um, you know, God tells us, he, 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 he gives us a vision and he gave me this vision. And these are the, the, the beginning steps of them. It, it's just been birthed, uh, and it was birthed miraculously quickly. Um, about by the help of people and um, working hard, you know. So just to have this and to uh, have the online school is is pretty much a, a, a birthing, um, really by supernatural means. Uh, I mean, like the camera is it was um, uh, it's not my camera; it was loaned to me. So I, you know, until I buy my own. <laughs> And a lot of the equipment that I have and a lot of the equipment that I, I've, I've already purchased is uh, it's um, by supernatural means. It's by believing, it's by faith, and it's by stepping out. And I want to I wanna talk to you about stepping out. I want you to know that God has a plan and He has a purpose for you and He loves you. And He's not looking for you to fail. He's not looking for you to um, uh, start something and not finish it. If He's pl uh, placed something in your heart, uh, go after it and you're gonna see uh, crazy miracles happen uh, just by chance you'll meet somebody that knows something uh, when I went to go buy this computer I just had a conversation uh, with the tech uh, guy there and the salesman and he told me about some free apps that I can use to start my ministry um, uh, by the likes of which I've had no clue so um, just by having a simple conversation and explaining to him what I was doing, God really moved in, in, in that conversation, you know, and things like that. So uh, I, I want you to take a chance, you know, and step out and move forward because God is not going to let you fall. Listen, God is a God that loves us. He's like a daddy who's teaching us how to ride a bike. You know, when uh, your dad taught you how to ride a bike, um, 
He was right behind you the whole time. He didn't let you fall. And if you fell, he told you to get back up and um, try it again and shake it off. And so that's what we do. You know, the, the righteous man falls seven times, but seven times he gets up. You know, the, the word of God tells us. I want to share this scripture with you. Uh, it's uh, Romans 12, um, 2. Romans 12, 2. It says... And be not conformed to this world, or do be not conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. God has a good and acceptable uh, uh, will for you. He has a, a plan and a purpose for you that's greater than anything you can think of, anything you can imagine. And that plan and that rev and that uh, 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 revelation comes by the Holy Spirit so we have to be tapped into the Holy Spirit we have to be I have a, a course here on online it's called the flow we have to be uh, uh, in allowing the flow to come through us and the flow to fill us and we need to be tapped in you know there's a flow of God's presence there's a portal where God moves up and down and we have to position ourselves so we have a responsibility to do that and once you do that God's gonna show you hey I have all this stuff for you I just want need you to come pick it up I have all these gifts for you I just need you to open them you know but we have to be in the right place and um, not always at the right time I know a lot of preachers preach that there is a timing uh, um, uh, <clears throat> there's a timing uh, um, flow there's a, 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 a time where there's a certain special flow that comes and we have to be there to receive that at that at that moment. But um, God always, he never repents of his gifts, number one. And he always, he's, he's, he's ready when you are, you know. He's ready before you are. So he's, he's waiting in anticipation for you to step out and for you to do what he has called you to do. And that's what he's done with me. And so just to let you know, um, I have 17 years of, of uh, pastoralship experience. Uh, I've been a, a Christian for 17 years, and I haven't been a pastor for 17 years. Um, so, uh, I, you know, but um, I went uh, into ministry almost immediately in the sense of learning. So I began to learn as soon as God really moved in my heart. And uh, so I would say that I've been in ministry now for a good uh, 16, uh, uh, 15, 16 years. And um, I was a, a youth pastor. Uh, um, I had a ministry. Uh, it was a, a rolling uh, evangelistic uh, ministry where we would uh, throw parties in neighborhoods and there were Christian parties. And I don't want to say like we drank and we smoked and we did that stuff. No, it was just a, a Christian gathering, a, a, a feast, if you will. And uh, we would DJ and, and, and sing songs and, and, and let the music play, worship songs and Christian songs very early I learned that you know you have to be very mature to start ministry um, but you don't have to be mature to tell somebody about Jesus Christ because you experience Jesus Christ and you tell them immediately how good it, it he is you tell them how good he is and you're gonna change hearts so uh, my passion is really to teach my passion is to have a guild of evangelists and, and, and a guild of prophets a, a, a company of men and women and young men and young women who um, will allow the Holy Spirit to lead them. And so uh, I just uh, want you to tap in to the Flow Nations ministry, Ministries Online School. <laughs> uh, let me say that again. The Flow Nations Ministries Online Schools. I'm going to have a rich teaching, in-depth teaching about how to tap in into the love of God into the presence of God, into the movement of God. Wherever God goes, we go. And it's not wherever we go, He goes. You know, it's wherever uh, He goes, we go. The, the, the pillar of fire and the cloud of night, of the cloud in the day, moved the children of Israel about, and, um, and they picked up and they followed, and that's what we do. But we... Uh, have the hope and the, and, the, and the promise that we will enter the promised land. And so that's the difference between those days and now. So listen, uh, be a part of this. Be a part of this. I, I promise you that um, the teachings are uh, Holy Spirit um, 
field, I really learned how not to speak outside of what God is showing me and teaching me and saying to me, because it's very, very important that I, I that he captures your heart and that he uh, moves you forward and that you are experiencing victory in every area of your life like I have and am doing. And so I'm going to share with you exactly how to do that, how I did it, and give you testimonies of how uh, many souls are won by this ministry. Um, I'm in partnership with uh, the American Awakening and uh, over 2 million souls, almost uh, 3 million souls have been won to the Lord and we're looking for 200, 300 million. So be a part of that, be a part of what God is doing. I'm gonna show you how to uh, get into uh, the, uh, the, the flow of what he's doing and I'm gonna show you how to be victorious and have success and conquer every area that the enemy comes and tries to steal, kill, and destroy from you and your family. I'm going to show you how to overcome those things and how to trust God for your very best. God wants your very best, but there has to be a transformation of our mind. This system that we're living in in America is a false and a demonic and a dark system, and we are going to uh, take back what the enemy has stole. Uh, from us, from our friends, from our family members, and we're going to uh, sing the song of victory, and we're going to sing the song of praise, and we're going to sing the song of joy unto the Lord, because in every opportunity that we find that the enemy is coming and trying to take something from us, we can defeat him. And you know what, Flow Nation, we will defeat him, because the victory the victory is already ours and the battle has already been won. So uh, continue to join us. We love you. I love you. And I thank you for being a part of what we're doing here at Flow Nations Ministries Online School.